Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make custom track pictures in Cubase 8 and how you can make them transparent. So I've loaded up a uh, audio track and if we hover over to the audio track you can see that a, a grey square appears and if I double click this it will bring open the uh, track pictures browser window. Uh, you can either choose the factory icons, and as you can see, if I choose one of them, you can see that it's transparent. Also, if we show the uh, preview here, we can set the intensity to bring up the color. Um, if I want to use a uh, user-made icon, I can import an icon, and in this case, I have um, I have a transparent icon. Uh, which you can see here, a react, uh, the, uh, an icon for Reactor. So if I double click this, uh, you can see that once I've loaded it up, it adds a black background, which is sort of annoying because the original file is a transparent PNG file. Now, I know that JPEGs, uh, for example, uh, doesn't allow you to have a transparent backgrounds, but a transparent PNG file should really load up transparent in Cubase but it doesn't do this. So I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem. So it's going to be a workaround. Um, I'm not a Cubase developer, so um, yeah, we'll just have to uh, be satisfied with that. So I'm going to remove the icon app, click on OK. And now we're going to save the project onto the desktop. We're going to just call it, uh, actually, actually we can do a backup instead. The nice thing about uh, making a backup is that you are prompted to create a folder. So we'll just call this uh, test, click on OK, and we'll call the project test, click on OK. And now we can just close Cubase. So now you can see we have the PNG file and the folder for the project we just made. What we have to do now is to open the, uh, fold the test folder and you can see our CPR file here. Now we have to make a new folder called uh, track pictures. Make sure that it's spelled correctly. We can open it and move the icon onto that folder. So bear in mind that if you want to make transparent pictures uh, for Cubase, uh, I recommend you keep it a PNG file. Also make sure that the PNG file is transparent because it, it's not necessarily uh, a transparent PNG. Uh, the image size doesn't matter because Cubase is going to adjust the uh, uh, image size itself. So now we can just um, open the, uh, the project we just made. So now you can see a message popping up uh, saying this project contains pictures which are not part of your library. Do you want to add them to the library to make them available in other projects? Now this message is actually quite essential because I have experimented with this uh, a lot. And if you want to add transparent uh, pictures for Cubase 8, the only way you can do this is by going through this dialog or this message. Um, so we are going to choose add and now if we try to add a picture you can see that the icon is added into the library and it's transparent also if we uh, minimize this and we open uh, let's see here uh, we can see that cubase has now copied the picture file into c users uh, your username, Aptara, Roaming, Steinberg, Cache, and Track Picture Thumbnails. So once you, uh, if you remember the dialog that popped up, once you click on Add to Library or Add, it's going to copy the file onto here. It's also going to modify it. So if you open this picture now, you can see that it has added a uh, background to it and a sort of an outline but that's not going to appear in Cubase. In Cubase, it's going to appear as a transparent picture. So now we can actually just delete uh, the project we created because the picture is um, already added to the to the uh, users 
pic user picture library. So that's how you add um, transparent pictures to Cubase 8. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Um, please share your icons if you have made any. Uh, I tried to make them myself, but it's quite uh, time consuming. So it would be nice if people could share um, their, their work or their results. Until next time, take care guys. Have a lovely day. Bye.